Hey folks, Joseph Isabora here, and I'm doing a movie review this week. It's called Wildcats. It's a movie about a tough female coach who wants up taking a job coaching at an inner city high school that wants up into a complete nightmare. It stars Goldie Hawn, Switchy Kurtz, Robin Lively, Brandy Gold, James Keach from the movie Moving Violations, Jan Hooks, who just recently passed away, you know, she was a former Saturday Night Live cast member, Bruce Miguel, who went on to do several films, in fact he was best known as one of the guys in the movie Animal House, Nipsey Russell, T. Williamson, Woody Harrelson and Russie Snipes, you know, both of which started their screen debut together, which later went on to do the film White Man Can't Jump and Money Train. Yeah, that was the film. I know Woody Harrelson actually got a start in Cheers as simply Woody, and Jazu Garcia. And it's directed by Michael Ritchie, who's been best known for directing films such as The Bad News Bears and, of course, the film Fletch with Chevy Chase. Now, I bought this DVD at Goodwill at a very good price. It was like almost $2 when I bought this. So it actually looks very good. And there wasn't any scratches or anything. It was as good as new. Yeah, this is of course one of the regular cases that they had. I know the later case was quite different. I think they also changed the cover art too. But this was what it really looked like. Yeah. And on the back, of course. And it has some extras, but not too many. It was only the music video and the trailer. Yeah. And the spine and all that. Well, anyway, I had this movie a long time ago on the VHS recording from Select TV back in 1987. And I remember watching this movie a lot. I thought it was pretty fun. And not perfect, but it was worth watching. Because I, I always remember the entire cast and everything. And all the funny moments that they play. I still have the recording, though, by the way. And then my dad recorded for me. So it's really cool. So let's get right to it. The movie begins when a famous football coach had a daughter named Molly McGrath, who's played by Goldie Hawn, who wants up having her lifelong dream of becoming a football coach. But then her wish is finally granted once she left her job coaching for a girls track team at an influence high school known as Prescott High and to take over a football team at an inner city high school known as Central High where during her first attendance, she winds up getting chased by two guard dogs all the way across the hall and try to hide from them until she winds up meeting a janitor and I believe the president, a principal of the entire high school named Ben Edwards. Ben Edwards who's played by Nipley Russell, yeah, especially with his line you know, whenever she talks about, you know, whenever he talks about the entire, uh, you know, her first day of the job and everything, he says, right. Yeah. Well, she winds up uh, attending during her very first day, which turns out to be a complete disaster. Once he spotted um, the entire football team, you know, all of them are African Americans. Latinos and whites, and they're actually, you know, not wearing any pants, and they, you know, but their jerseys, and, and they actually cover the dicks under their football helmets. Yeah, <laughs> and actually show their dick uh, around her. So, yeah, you, you get the point. Well, and of course, the entire football team. Yeah, you know, one of them was played by. Woody Helson and Wesley Snipes as Pachunsky and Tremaine. So during that particular day, which didn't turn out so great, was when when she started to introduce them and and they started practicing and training for 
the very first game uh, of the season. But of course, you know, they've been treating her like dirt and so on and so forth. But that is until the very next day. You know, you know, she spotted her office, you know, filled with graffiti, including the sign that says McGrath sucks and pussy and even smash her stopwatch yeah so she finally gets her revenge by challenging them into uh, a racetrack so that means that if she wins she'll be the coach she'll be their coach for the rest of their lives but if she doesn't then they'll decide <laughs> so they wind up uh, racing the entire track all the way around the entire mile, yeah, and of course they wound up dropping like, yeah, they wound up running with her, but they're all dropping like flies, only leaving to, to one of them, and that was Tremaine, <laughs> and when Tremaine actually ran with her, she actually says, I actually ran the Boston Marathon twice, <laughs> and Tremaine actually groans and, and then fells <laughs> until she finally won, and so... <laughs> So she finally got the job, you know, coaching the entire team. You know, starting with their very first game, which apparently they lost, but they got better as they turn around, as they've seen. So things were going great for her until all of a sudden she winds up getting involved, you know, with her ex-husband, uh, along with his, his new wife, Frank Neham, along with Stephanie, both played by James Keach and Jane Hooks. So she's trying to struggle to win the battle for the custody of her two young daughters. You know, one of them wants to dye her hair, you know, red. Red mostly, you know, looking like a punk rocker and, you know, in order to hang out with her friends and everything. But sadly, you know, <laughs> she couldn't live. Although she was trying to. So once again, you know, dealing with the racial and gender prejudice and everything that they were going for. You know, they've been winning a lot of games, you know, they almost entering the championship and they started having their victory party at her place which turned out to be you know <laughs> which turned out to be very wild and, and crazy until they show up <laughs> and, and they want to uh, one of them actually accidentally punched uh, her daughter who suffers a, a bloody nose so then Frank decided to punch uh, Ben Edwards in, in the face you know, Accidentally, that's why he was responsible. So, yep. So apparently, Frank was threatening them to uh, to actually uh, win the battle. So he wants to take him, the two young daughters with them, so they could stay over for a very long time. Well, things becomes very complicated for her. So once once everything gets settled, you know, she wants to get into the real test by. By having the Central High team actually faces Prescott in the city championship, while at the same time she's trying to um, win her hearts, you know, by able to stay with her with her two young daughters, you know, already settled at court, you know, by his husband. So in order for her to fight, she'll be able to uh, win all these battles, and things will go completely as planned. That's pretty much what the film's all about, um, actually, so. Well, and like I said, it wasn't perfect, but I have to say, I, I could see what the, the film was going for. Because the film did have plenty of flaws that they went into. And especially when they focuses more on racial and, and gender and all this other stuff. A lot of prejudice. But I'll give you this, though. Goldie Hawn did a good job playing the, the female coach. And Molly McGrath, and, and this is pretty interesting because you know there's hardly any movies that I've seen where they actually had a female playing a coach, quite like what she played here. And this is really uh, something because it had to deal with it. Mostly, it's just you know males uh, playing the coach. I know Bruce McGill actually played a complete jerk in this movie. You know. You know, who actually uh, wants up um, signing her up for the job as sort of a uh, a prank, which <laughs> it seemed to me. 
Because I know originally she wanted to sign up for another uh, high school. So that didn't happen. I had to say one of the funniest moments was when they had uh, Taft Thatcher's character named uh, Finch. He was a yeah, he was a huge fat guy, but he basically gambles. Yeah, he does a lot of gambling and all this other stuff. Yeah, and, and then there was some awkward scene where he was actually you know trying to catch the football you know by actually jumping all, up all the way high. And all that. It was kind of strange. Which I know leads to the last any of the film where where you know, you know they begin to find out what, what was <laughs> what was going on. If if maybe they cheat or not. <laughs> which I know it didn't. Yeah. Um, but it, they also had a lot of funny moments here too, including a scene involving uh, Frank and Stephanie, you know, Frank was just in the bathroom, you know, you know, talking to Molly, making a conversation while Stephanie was just hiding out, you know, while bring, bringing a cup, while bringing a glass of water, and then suddenly, you know, she wants up hiding underneath the door, you know, knocking her out, and then the first time around, and then the second time around in the bathroom, and <laughs> suddenly the glass breaks. <laughs> yeah, that, that was also funny, and, and there were plenty of others too. I, I, however, um, I thought it was interesting that they got Woody Harrelson and Wes Snipes uh, together in this movie. You know, even though this was their screen debut, it was interesting because you know, <laughs> while they didn't do quite as much in the film, at least they got to do something. You know, later in in two films. So. I guess I could see that the director Ron Shelton must have watched this movie in order to get these two guys to work in White Man Can't Jump. Instead of football, it's basketball. <laughs> and that was a good movie, by the way. And uh, they also had LL Cool J um, as the rapper, actually sang the football theme for the movie. Yeah, the football rap, where they actually go around singing. You know, Wildcats, football, Wildcats, football. <laughs> yeah, I remember that the theme song. Uh, they also had the entire football team to sing it at the end of the credits too. Yeah, you know, with uh, <laughs> you know, Buddy Hahn joining in. That was really cool. Yeah, and and it had plenty of great moments in the movie. You know. Some worked, some didn't, but you get the idea. So. But definitely check this movie out if you haven't. Uh, it's a very underrated film. Um, not many people talk about it as much. Sad to say, it was critically panned when it first came out. Um, I, like I said, it wasn't perfect, but you know there are plenty of better sports movies out there. But I think this one, you know was a decent one and I think it's definitely you know, worth watching. I mean especially with these funny scenes they put into it. So yeah. So that's Wildcats. And I give this movie three stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora and I'll see you later. Bye.